Hello, everyone. Now, this is one uh, live case study for Western digital hard drives. Uh, this is one desktop hard drive. And now let's try to see uh, what's wrong with this drive. We power on this drive. And let's see what will be the status. Now, uh, I can hear some unusual noises generating uh, from the pension drive and we can also see that the status is not normal and only error status on and this drive has already uh, spin down so uh, to fix this drive we need to uh, enter kernel mode uh, because the drive already has been done, so we cannot read the firmware from the platter surface. So we also get detail and then uh, obtain SPT, click OK to enter the program. Now we can see the drive is not detected and uh, uh, low modules. So how to fix this kind of drive? We can go to uh, ROM operations, uh, read ROM. Uh, I ha actually, uh, I have, we can see read ROM. It's very easy to read ROM. And then we can use one menu called bypass SA read. Please make sure the original ROM has a backup. Yes. Now we can see um, the SA has been bypassed to read. So from restart, now the drive gets ready. So we re enter the program in normal mode. Now we can see. The module is here. Log window modules. Uh, we can try to test the firmware modules. Now it seems the modules are good, but the drive spin up and down, so we can only open, double open the modules, the important modules to check. Module 3. Now, module 3 is one of the most important firmware modules, but we can see that module 3 is empty, so that means this module 3 has a problem. Let's check other important. Uh, from our modules, for example, the overlay, it seems okay. And also the module 31, it's okay too. 32, yes, it seems good also. And we can check the module 40, the adaptive modules. Uh, this important module uh, is good too. So the problem is with module 3. Now, uh, the module 3 has no contents inside for the hexed data. So to fix this kind of issue, we can try to uh, go to the firmware operations, generate modules, generate module 3. Now we can try if we can back up the modules. Now the modules can be back up directly for this family after bypass the SA. So the modules have been back up too. Now let's try to uh, regenerate the module 3. OK, 
cannot be generated successfully. That means cannot write. Uh, let's try to load this ATA module and see. Uh, auto load ATA. Uh, we find one dollar module. Modules. Click OK. Okay, so loading completes. Uh, let's try. So module three cannot be generated at this way. So let's try to. Uh, re enter the program and try again. So we have also now uh, bypassed the SA and also load the loaders. But right now we can see that the model number, the SN number, the capacity are not correct. Generate module three. Three is damaged. Select all. Modules. Let's try to write in this way. ROM, original ROM. Now we can restart the firmware. Now we can see the drive is restored, is repaired. Let's try to scan the data arrow. Now we can see the data is fully accessed.